Are you struggling to output JSON in Rails without those pesky backslashes? You're not alone. Many developers face this challenge, especially when dealing with specific formats required by third-party services. Today, we're going to tackle this issue head on. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when your JSON output doesn't match the expected format. It can feel like you're chasing your tail, trying to get those slashes just right. But don't worry, we're here to find a solution together. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked how to output JSON in Rails 5 with a timestamp format that includes slashes at both the start and end. They provided an example of the desired output, which is commonly used in .NET services. Sound familiar? Let's dive into the details. So what's the issue here? When you try to render JSON in Rails, it automatically escapes certain characters, including slashes. This can lead to unexpected output that doesn't meet your requirements. Let's break down the problem and find a way to achieve the desired format. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. You won't want to miss it. To begin solving this issue, the user should modify the controller action to ensure the JSON output matches the desired format. This involves using the JSON method in Rails to customize the output. Next, the user needs to ensure that the string is correctly formatted. This means using single quotes around the string to prevent Rails from escaping the slashes. After updating the controller, the user should test the output by accessing the corresponding rote in their application. This will allow them to see if the JSON is formatted correctly. Finally, if the output still does not match the desired format, the user may need to explore using a custom serializer or modifying the JSON rendering options in Rails. Fun fact, did you know that JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation? It's a lightweight data interchange format that's easy for humans to read and write and easy for machines to parse and generate. Pretty cool, right? Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by a user suggests a simple approach using the gsub method. They recommend first replacing each forward slash with a double forward slash and then removing the escaped forward slashes. This method transforms the input to the desired JSON format, ensuring the slashes are correctly displayed as needed. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always check the documentation for the libraries and frameworks you are using. They often have helpful options that can save you time and frustration. And there you have it. You should now be able to output JSON in Rails without those annoying backslashes. Remember, understanding how your tools work can make all the difference. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.